have you ever been riding or in a car or on a bike uh, and you've come up across those like stone uh, monuments in the road uh, and wondered what they actually are well I'm going to do this uh, video don't know how long it's going to take me but I'm going to do this video because when I used to be cycling I used to ride past all these places where I'm going to go well I'm going to show you now on this video and you just never take no notice uh, of what they are so now I've got time on my hands of course I'm going to show you so the first one that I'm going to show you is in the village of Braithwell uh, and this is just known as the Braithwell Norman Cross this is all that remains of this Norman Cross let's see what this history board says I'll just point you there for two minutes see if you can read that the cross dates from the 12th to the 13th century So that would that road up there would take you to Doncaster, that would take you to Ravenfield, and this road is where I'm going to go down next is going to take us back into Maltby. So I don't know if you had time to read that inscription on that plaque, so you'll just have to pause your video or go well. You'll have to go back and pause it to read it. Ah, I'm in Maltby now. I'm just going to take you to this other cross. I think it's a cross. Just climbing, just climbing these steps. Bloody the hell! There's no, there's no inscriptions or anything on this. But what I know about this is what, what I've, what I can gather is. It's called the Buttercross Monument. The Buttercross Monument Cross is what it's listed as. Now this goes back to when Maltby first became Maltby. But it's been moved several times because obviously uh, making roads and that, it's had to be moved so it but this is its resting place and it's been here for oh decades in memory of William Henry Crossley who was fatally injured near this spot on St <coughs> St Paddy's Day 1900 in the year 1900 restored by Maltby Town Council in the year 2010 and then erected by then on uh, below and I, I, I miss that isn't we ain't it erected by his widow and children and then just uh, a little anecdote at the bottom I'm going down these steps now and then I'm going to move on to another one so there's uh, there's actually three more in Maltby, uh, and I'll explain about these when we further get to. It's nice to see that they've not been vandalised though. This is a war. I think it's a war memorial. But there, look, you can see. I don't know if you can just pick that up or not. 1914, 1918, so it would have been the Great War. 
And the Great War, of course, is uh, World War I. That's what it's known as. And then I'm guessing these must be uh, people of Maltby. It is, they look. I don't know if you can read that, but I'll just say it. To the glorious memory of the men of Mal Maltby who fell in the Great War. And there you go, look, in alphabetical order. Uh, and then they go all the way around. And it's nice to see that there's still some wreaths here. So I'm moving on now and I'm going to show you another one. Now this other one I'm going to show you. I've only found it by chance and I'm sure it weren't there. Just bear with me. And I'm sure it weren't there when, uh, when I used to be out cycling. But uh, I'm going to drive you there now. It's about it's about three mile away. So let's get on and do this. So here is that that memorial. This is nice. that or not this is kept nice look I think it might be same as that 27 yeah it is it's another memorial for them 27 miners Well, if I'm not going to get shot by somebody over there shooting, I'm going to get one over. I'll try and get you as close as I can. These are them poor blokes, probably. I can't read now. But These are obviously news. I'm guessing these are newspaper cuttings. And then there's uh, a little bit there. Look, Maltby's Black Saturday. And here, of course, not these fields, but uh, where, where you can see them pylons and these trees. That's where Maltby Pit would have stood which were probably pulled down in the 90s when they, called, when they started closing the uh, pits in the 80s I think this one went private I don't know if you're getting a bit of wind noise on me uh, on my microphone because it's windy and it's making my eyes water and that's why I can't read them things for you because I can't see. So it's nice to know that there's been some sort of memorial. I've just come to the village of a place called Furbeck, uh, which is classed as Rotherham actually. Now, in Furbeck during the war years was an RAF base. Now I've only just found this by chance, by looking on Google Maps, as I said, trying to plan these routes for you today. So I didn't want to, hiya. Hiya. Uh, 
some some bikers. So I didn't want it to turn into a, a cycling video, but for where I've got to go, I've got to jump on my bike to show you. I've just cycled that. Wait a minute. Oh, bugger. I've just cycled that 100 yards or so from my car to get into this field. Now it's a public footpath. So, I'm hoping I should be allowed to, to ride on here. I've come on my bike because obviously it's just going to be faster than walking it and I'm only going to be there a couple of minutes for you but I never knew about this place but I think it's some sort of uh, memorial Or just like here uh, in the honour of the people who actually work there. So this field that I'm going across now would have been RAF Furbeck. And as you can see it's it's just former field now. Now according to maps I'll take a left here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just wondering if that's it just there, to my right hand side. Oh, I don't know if you're getting me puffing and panting. I haven't been on a bike for years. This has got to be it. Do you know what? I've only cycled like half a mile. My legs feel like jelly. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered. But I'll just pan, I'll just turn you around and show you where we are. So them houses there look in the distance. That's where I've parked my car. So I've cycled all the way past them houses there. And I've come in through that gate down there, look come up that track coming down here look another bit of a track and here we are this is it I'll just uh, I'll just get you closer just hang on well just just let's take this in a minute though before I do now all this there must have been some sort of runway here either one or two runways people coming in people going out back in the 1940s in fact here look what's it say well there's a oh, that's a berry that look uh, let's have a look Six one three squadron, September forty to July forty one. Six five four squadron, September forty two. So that were there for a, a month or so. So here we are. Then look, you are here. So I'm stood on this odd standing, which which I believe were workshops. Remembering the air and ground crews, 1940 and 1948. So I wonder if it were took out of service in 1948. 
I think this is the history look. So that's the first, that's the second. Then it goes up in years, so it's got to be, hasn't it? And then 43 to 45, 46 to 48. And not many people know about this. And as I say, I've just found that by chance. It's really, really quiet here. Fetch you to show you the Tom Simpson uh, Memorial. So I'll just tell you a bit about Tom Simpson. Now, I know he used to be a professional bike racer, cyclist in the 1960s, during the Tour de France in 1967, whilst he was climbing Mount Ventoux in Southern France. Uh, he fell off his bike uh, uh, and Spectators helped him on his bike. He cycled on a few more yards uh, and he finally collapsed uh, and he, he died at the roadside. Now at the roadside where he died, the, uh, was placed a memorial. Uh, and this memorial on Mount Ventoux, they've done uh, an exact replica here for him in Haworth. Uh, and I'll just turn you around now and I'll show you what, what it is or what it looks like and that is it and I'm led to believe years ago there was some sort of uh, memorabilia place in this pavilion I don't know whether it's still there but what I've just noticed is a legacy to uh, Tom Simpson if you can just see that there Looks like they're going to be building more houses, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm meaning here. Look, so they've named an housing estate after him. Simpson Park. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, but I'll find something. Uh, in fact, that's that. You could do that for me as well. Just send me some suggestions on what you guys would like to see uh, and I'll try and put some stuff together for you. So for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you there.